stage with Metallica. You guys haven't gone on stage yet. Are you particularly nervous, or is this just another gig? It's, it's, you know, it's another Woodstock. Right? <laughs> no, we've been here uh, about 45 minutes now. We're starting to get a little hepped up, and but we've been on the road for about seven weeks now, so we're really confident. We really, the Metallica machine is as fueled and running as, as good as it, it can be right now. So. We're very confident about what's going on. When you heard about Woodstock 2 or Woodstock 94, any cynicism? I think in the beginning, probably. <laughs> in the beginning, probably a little bit. I think I'm starting to personally get a little kind of bored of it with corporate sponsorships and all these people being so, like you say, cynical about the whole thing. I'm. We've been here an hour now. I'm starting to get kind of vibed up for it, and I'd like to spend a little time checking it out and figuring out for myself what this is all about, what this means, instead of listening to other people's opinions about it. vibe with the people? I'm going to go hang with the people. Are you going to go out in the mud? I am. No, you're wild. not. You're going to stay in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's so wild? Is it actually happening like it happened 25 years oh, ago, yeah. that there are people crashing it and like oh, yeah. hanging in the Woodstock, mud? Woodstock, it is intense. Yeah. I think that when you get so many young people together, right. that yeah, one I guess that's his kidding, you know, I got that. You just have to ignore this sort of thing. Um, when you get so many Canadian. young a, a? <laughs> <laughs> when you get that many young people together, but something's gonna happen. I know. It's I think what I'm kinda sick of is, is all the comparisons between this and sixty nine. But I, the I think, name's the same. Yeah, yeah, but I think you got I mean it's twenty five years later and the nature of that is that people should try and make this a cool event in itself yeah. without having to compare it to what went on 25 years ago. Is it better? Is it worse? You know, what's the line? I mean, just, it's 1994. If you want to do this type of thing, then just do it without being so concerned about trying to, to emulate or whatever what was going on 25 years ago. That's the thing that's bothering well, me. No matter what it was called, it would still be compared to the first Woodstock. Yeah. Anyway. You know what makes me nervous? When they did the show a long time ago, everybody was drugged out. Everybody was really happy, really stoned. Mm -hmm. The music was now. really peaceful and happy, and then you get Metallica and Nine Inch Nails and Aerosmith. Nothing wrong with the bands, but you're really aggressive. Well, yeah, but so that's because it's a whole different thing. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's a whole different thing. I mean, it's that's contemporary. What was going on back then was the contempt, the best contemporary bands for 1969. Now you have the best contemporary bands for 1994. And music has evolved, and society has evolved, and everything has evolved. I mean, anybody expecting this to be a, a, a reprise of what went on 25 years ago should have their head examined. But what about the kids? Aren't you nervous that the kids are going to get a little hyper and any get so you many put, kids together? Anytime you put 200,000 people together, whether it's a concert or a political rally or a football game or whatever, I mean, these type of things happen to single out and say rock shows is only happening at rock shows. No, That's no. just not right. No. But I'm sure that, that the people that are taking care of it are doing the best that they can. And, and I don't think anybody expects this to go on without any kind of cough-ups, but I'm sure it's it's running smooth. You tell me, is it running smooth? <laughs> no, it's not, but that's the excitement okay. of it. Right. One last question. Is this a political show at all? No, not for me. Uh, politicians are here? Support act, bills out there? And uh, well, no, I think just more the fact of just being here and the idea of having so many young people together in one place, does it become a political event in a way? I, how do you mean? You know, band wise or no 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 just the the act the in tents, itself all the the tents no, i mean the little booths saying don't do this do this instead or no i i mean just the fact that in uh, i hate to bring it up but there were 25 years ago woodstock itself became a political yeah, statement but i think yeah i think people can derive out of it whatever they want to and yeah. for somebody it might be political for me you ask me for me it's not political i'm here to, to play and and, and get out of that what we get out of it and, and hopefully give people something. But I'm sure if you ask this guy or this person or somebody else, then maybe it's political to them. But I don't think that there's a uniform opinion or way that anybody should take this. I mean, you've got 250,000 people out there. Ask each one of them. They'll give you 250,000 different answers. Speaking of uniform, your T-shirt, the, the Metallic Silk, is great. Who came up with that? Uh, who did? I don't know. I think did. Metallica did. No, no. We just okay. kind of twisted the scary guy around to the hippie guy. <laughs> funny. Yeah. Where's your tent? Where are you staying? It's in my pants. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> you, you, you took some of the brown acid 25 years ago. We're, we're heading down. We, to we have a trailer. <laughs> we're very 90s. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. We're heading down to D.C. after the show and oh, where no. we're playing tomorrow. Oh, cool. Okay. So now you know. And now I'm blushing. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not.
Thank you very much. Okay, good. Well, yeah. You... Pro probably the uh, the most thrilling thing about all of this is trying to figure out once Aerosmith once Aerosmith finishes on stage here tonight, finding out where people sleep and how they sleep. We'll report on it tomorrow. I'm telling you. We'll tell about tell you about it tomorrow. Tomorrow on stage, Aerosmith, Allman Brothers, Traffic, Green Day, Paul Rogers and Company, uh, Spin Doctors, Demo Brothers, Porno from Pyros. Man, the lads will start. Santana, Bob Dylan, Chili Peppers, Jimmy Cliff, Peter Gabriel closed the show. We'll be here reporting backstage upon your cable company for the pay-per-view music stuff on it. Thank you for watching. We're saying goodnight, but not goodbye. We're continuing all weekend long with our Woodstock coverage.